We are here today at the Lake Mead Las Vegas uh, and uh, testing the KNF uh, ND filter for my uh, A7 IV. Um, I don't know how good it is and if it's going to work. I got the 82 millimeter, that way I can step down and uh, see if uh, it actually works. Uh, I know the pull upper is the best but that's a bit expensive and um, figured I'd give it a try and test the uh, KNF before I look at other stuff, but we'll see. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and grab the filter and see how it's gonna work. Uh, here's the here's the filter. Um, this is the 82 millimeter thread, as I said earlier, and um, it's a bit bright here. I do have a I think Hoya uh, filter right now on my Sigma lens, uh, and uh, even at the full uh, 32 ND32, it still is not dark enough. It looks like. I wonder if this KNF is any better, and if not, I need to get something that can go even darker than 32 ND32 during a sunny day. But uh, we'll go ahead and try that. I'm gonna go, go ahead and put it on, and we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and unbox the filter here. Um, it comes in a little nice magnetic case and uh, has a little, uh, little casing here as well. Uh, so I wrapped in in a plastic bag. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out and put the plastic bag in my pocket. I'm going to use a step down filter so I can use it on my um, 67 millimeter lens, my Sigma 67. This is a 67, I mean, this is a Sigma 16 to 28 lens. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the Hoya and I'm going to put this one in. So let's see if uh, this is any better than my Hoya lens. So let's refine the point. This is at full ND32. Uh, let me see if I... We do have some vignetting on the right side, right top and bottom left that I see here, here and on this side. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually, let me see, I'm on 28 millimeter right now, focal length and I still have vignetting. It's not, not, not even a 16. I'm going to go ahead and step it down a little and this is I believe ND16 now which is too bright um, I need to go darker so I don't think if I want to be at f2.8 this will not do a good job and I'm already overexposed here let me go down to ND32 and on ND32, uh, it's still, I have been editing and it's still not doing a good job. So I don't think this is going to work for me here. I probably have to get something that can go darker than this without vignetting. So it looks like this lens is not going to work. Um, uh, I have to return this lens and send it back. Um, but uh, let's see what uh, what lens we can find that will work. I mean, at 60 millimeter, I know that it's a little hard to get something that works, but I was at uh, focal length 28, and I still was getting vignetting, and even at ND32, it wasn't enough to uh, not get overexposed on the image. So I'll go ahead and see if I can look at either Tiffin or Polar Pro and see if they do any better job. Thank you again for watching our videos. Appreciate it, uh, as always. 
uh, please subscribe and hit the like button. That way you get notified on uh, releases of new video. Have a wonderful day.